Hey everybody, how's it going and welcome to Daily's 2A News. Today we're going to talk about the government's attempt to suspend your Second Amendment rights during an emergency. Now, over the past week and in upcoming weeks, you're going to hear a lot about mayors and governors coming up with plans to either restrict or suspend your Second Amendment rights. They're going to use the base of a national emergency in order to do that. They're going to use arguments like uh, it's public health, they're going to use it for public safety, they're going to say it's to stem the potentiality of rioting or looting, uh, things like that. They're going to use those arguments to say that this is why it's necessary for us to either, again, restrict or suspend your Second Amendment rights. But here's the problem. There are people that believe whatever the government says. And if the government comes out and, and creates enough fear in people's minds and really pushes this fear agenda on them, there are people who will accept the suspension of their Second Amendment rights and they will turn things in because they feel like it's for the greater good. They feel like it's for the public good because that's what they were told by the politicians who are in charge. So you are going to have people that are going to go along with this. But I want you to keep something in mind. The Second Amendment, while it is an amendment and it is part of our Bill of Rights, the Second Amendment simply enumerates a, a God-given right, a natural right. All of the rights that we have in our Bill of Rights are rights regardless if, of the Constitution even existing, okay? That's one thing that people have to try and, and hang on to. We have a right to life. We have a right to defend ourselves. You know, we have a right to be free. These are all rights that we have regardless of whether or not somebody put those in the Constitution or not. Again, these are just simply enumerated to show the government that these are your rules that you have to abide by when creating laws that will affect your citizens. So if the government wants to create a law and the Second Amendment says that uh, the right of the people to keep and bear arms should not be infringed, well, then they can't create a law that would uh, supersede that Second Amendment. And so again, it is a natural right that was put on paper to give rules to the government. And so regardless if it's a national emergency, regardless if the government says they're trying to stop A, B, or C because they feel like this is a potential for the future, regardless of what they say, they do not have the right to suspend your right to keep and bear arms. They do not have that right, nor do they have the authority to suspend the Constitution simply because they feel that it's necessary in this particular case. You have a right to say no. You have a right to hold on to your personal and private property. You have a right to those things regardless of the Second Amendment. If they were to say, look, we're suspending the Constitution altogether because of your public safety, I still have the right to speak. I still have the right to defend myself with the tools that I feel that are necessary. And you should not buy into what they are saying or the arguments that they're going to use because these people are basically snake tongued. Okay. You got to try and remember that they're snake tongued. When they talk, there's always some type of agenda behind it. A lot of the times when you hear about these governors or these mayors that are coming out with these plans, it's people who already had a predetermined agenda. And a lot of times they've let their agenda known. It's a, a very pro gun control agenda and they have tried to push their agenda as hard as they can. And they've been waiting for the right opportunity to seize the moment. That's why every time there's a tragedy in this country, they jump right on top of it and they try and push it, push it, push it while that fear still exists in people's minds. And while that whole public safety thing still exists, they feel like they can get the support of a greater population. And so they do that. Okay. That's what they're doing here. They're doing the same thing as when we have one of those, you know, national tragedies, they're using the state of emergency to again, gain support for a, an anti second amendment agenda that pre-existed before this ever took place. So even if this were to take place, what I would suggest you do is band together, find out people that are in your neighborhood, get together with local groups and understand exactly who you're living around. Who are you around? What's your support group look like? You know, what do other people in the area feel? Are you the, the only one in your area? Are you alone or are you a a uh, single person in a large group of people that you didn't even know about. It's always good to reach out to your neighbors, find out what they're all about, find out what their beliefs are so that you understand what type of support that you have nearby. Because should something like this happen and they actually do try and suspend it and confiscate or throw people in jail for stuff. I mean, think about this. Okay. Katrina, right? We all remember Katrina when Katrina happened and people said, Oh, that would never happen. It happened. 
Okay, it happened during Katrina. People were having uh, uh, their firearms removed from from their possession, or they were being handcuffed and sat out in the street while law enforcement went and searched their house without a warrant. I mean, these people were knocking on doors and saying, hey, do you own this or that? And people go, yeah, I got a couple upstairs in the safe. And guess what? You're in zip ties, you're on the street, they're in your house without a warrant, and they're taking your property. So uh, th it's a real thing that could potentially happen. It's not something I'm just spitballing here and trying to throw your way. So it's really important to understand that your rights exist regardless of the Constitution. And that's something that's very important that I think most of us need to know. So again, watch what's going on in your community. Watch what's going on with your mayor. Watch what's going on with your governor and be prepared because it's again not like these things couldn't happen they have happened and if we don't pay attention to history then history will repeat itself so you know i just want you guys to be prepared and understand exactly what you're fighting for and why it's happening so i want to thank you all very much for watching please like subscribe and stay strong have a great day